Since COVID-19 was confirmed as a global pandemic, our way of life has drastically shifted. Jobs have been lost, and those lucky enough to still have a job are likely to be working remotely from home, whilst potentially also trying to care for and educate children. For athletes, this has meant a big shift in normal training practices. More than ever before, athletes are required to be internally motivated and to be self-sufficient. And let's face it, at the time of recording this video, as while life in Australia is mostly back to normal, with social distancing and crowd limit rules still in place, we at any time can head back into lockdown. The potential to have to train by oneself will continue to be there for a while to come. But past this, there are times for whatever reason and that an athlete will have to train by themselves. And in this video, I'm going to show you the process that I have developed that helps me to do my sessions as successfully as I would if my coach and squad were with me. Number one, be clear on the session beforehand. So this is pretty obvious, but it helps to be clear on what the session is and what the goal of the session is. For instance, if I have turnaround reps, which are multiple reps and sets that have basically no recovery, so think up and back, then the goal of the session is fitness, lactic acid tolerance, and to keep the pace as even and steady as possible throughout. This session is meant to hurt and is building towards helping me run well when the lactic acid hits in a race. Number two, set a time to prepare your equipment beforehand. This helps you both manage your time and keep you on track. When training on your own, you're really only on your own personal schedule, so you can suit yourself. However, by not having a set training time, you can keep putting off the session and simply run out of time to do it. I'm working from home at the moment most days of the week, but I still need to do my regular gym and track sessions. So what I found works for me is blocking out a time in my work calendar and going to the gym at that time. This allows me to basically be in and out without having any delays. And as a bonus, I usually go at less busy times. So there is no wait times and it allows me to have minimal contact with people, ensuring that I am less likely to catch COVID and then spread it through my house and to the office on the days that I'm required to be on site. Number three, don't cut corners. Treat it as if your coach was there. When you train on your own, there is the temptation to cut corners in some way whether it be not doing your full warm up, warm down or ancillary work, or by cutting recovery or skipping part of the session because it is too hard or you just wanna get it done. This is where you need to be disciplined. The session is set out to help you achieve your goals. So keeping those in mind will help motivate you to not take any shortcuts. The hardest part about training all on your own is that everything is all on you. Coaches are not only the people who design the workout, they're also great motivators and encouragers. My coach likes to remind me to do certain things at certain points in a rep, and it really helps me to focus on those things instead of how much a rep hurts. Offer feedback or a review to the coach. I think that this is the key to successfully training on your own. There's doing the work towards your goals, and then there's doing the right work toward your goals. I make sure that every time I train on my own, I make a mental note about every rep and record it down and send it to my coach when I get a chance. And I also like to add in any information that could have impacted a rep, for instance, weather conditions, conditions of the track. Since I've been training more on grass and the road, how wet or how busy they've been with other users can also impact the quality of the session. Often I'll also ask my coach what target times are before a session so that I know what is required to make a, success, a session successful. This also helps with me remaining focused. Finally, enjoy your session. Okay, I'll admit it, it sucks training on your own, away from your coach and your training group, but I like to think of it this way. I'm working towards my goals and being physically active is good for your mental health and spirits. And that is what is truly important during this challenging time. There you go guys, that's my little how-to on how I managed to train by myself. Um, I think the video is quite timely given that uh, Melbourne has just recently come out of a pretty serious lockdown. Um, Western Australia has had a week long one, sort of start of February and Queensland we've had a three day one and South Australia just keeps shutting the borders to everyone at, at any sign of COVID which is completely understandable, no judging there. Um, I do hope that you enjoyed this video and um, give it a like up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again in my next one real soon. Bye!